do my Q&A answer portion, basically. I'm going to be answering y'all's questions. Anyway, sure, I just want to say thank you for sending me questions. Um, I didn't actually get a lot of questions, so depending on how long I take to answer the questions I did get, um, I'm probably going to actually add some questions from a tag, which Seven asked me to do. So, yeah, we'll see. But, um, anyway, I guess we can go ahead and get started. Um, someone actually asked on my vlog video if I could do a video, um, showing how I shade with color pencils. Um, my nose itches. Mm. And, uh, I did message them, but I also wanted to say in here that, um, I'm definitely going to do one. Um, probably not going to be the best thing in the world just cause, yeah. But, yeah, I'll try and have that out, hopefully tomorrow, cause it's going up Monday. I'm filming this Sunday. So, that video will be up probably Tuesday. We'll see. And, um, that was like... Uh, unofficial or official unicorn. I think it's official unicorn. Um, these next couple of questions, Seven asked me, or Ray, he asked, uh, am I single? When was my last relationship? And are you guys ever going to see my mom's face? <laughs> and the question, the answer is, yes, I'm single. Mm. And last relationship is non-existent because I've never really been in a relationship kind of thing so yeah and as far as my mom I know I talk about her a lot she's just never around when I do videos because I do videos like usually later at night so she's either asleep or if I do videos during the day she's at work um but you guys did see her kind of in the um unboxing video of Alex and she actually was in the speed like this time-lapse video of the Christmas tree put up of us putting up the Christmas tree she was in that for like a split second <laughs> so there you go she'll probably eventually be in one of my videos but yeah um then uh, Amber asked a couple questions she asked me where do I get my supplies and how much does it usually cost for the products that I buy? Um, for the most part, I mainly get my stuff at either Hobby Lobby or Walmart. Um, Walmart's a really good place to get a bunch of different things. It's where I get my paint, if not uh, Hobby Lobby, which is basically the same price there. Um, but yeah, here, I actually have a few things. Like, uh... The first thing I do, like I have a, a video on all the products I use and like the different things you can use for what. I'll have a link for that at the end of the video. Um, it'll be in the end card. It'll be one of the suggested videos. But yeah, I just grabbed a few of the things that I basically use like right this second or whatever. So like the first thing I, I basically do is use... Um, pure acetone and only use this on like monster high heads if you're gonna if you want to use something to get off a face up off of a ball jointed doll face I recommend like 99% alcohol um it worked perfectly fine for me so I, it should work for you guys but this is like a dollar or something at Walmart and then if I paint the head like where the, like for um a monster high let me grab a doll real quick. Move some stuff. Oops. <laughs> okay. So, if I do stuff like this where I painted a doll with paint just so that way I know where to paint the, where I, where to reroute, um, I will use, um, matte mod podge you know as you can see there it's a dollar just for a small tube and i got this at target because none of the other stores i went to actually had it so and then 
Um, I actually recently got Mod Podge, like the gloss Mod Podge. That's what I use for the lips and the eyes whenever I'm done with the face up. So, and and again, this is a dollar. I got it at Dollar Tree. They didn't have matte, but I assume that's it. Might have been because they were out. I don't know. But there's that. I did that, and then if I'm using pastels, I will use this matte finish, which I've had for like ever. Um, a lot of people say it doesn't work for them or they've had problems with it. Really, I haven't had any problems for the most part. Um, I've... I use it just to, to seal the pastels and then I go over it with this Liquitex. But, um, this should be only like $5 at the most, if that, if that. It's probably cheaper. I don't know. Um, like I said, I've had it for a really long time, so I don't, I don't know how much it is. Um, I only know a rough estimate. <laughs> and this is the paint I get at Walmart. Um, folk art is a good paint for me anyway. Uh, I love it. It does really good job of, it does a really good job of covering. And it's not like one of the most expensive paints out there. And then lastly, there's, and it's like a, I think it's a dollar or something. It's like a dollar fifty. Probably not that, but then lastly, Liquitex. I don't like using sprays. Like it's already, I hate using this Krylon stuff. Um, it sprays are really toxic, and as much as I have heard people say MSC is really bad, ugh, I don't want to use it. So that's why I I've gotten Liquitex matte Liquitex varnish. Um, as you can see there, it was $15.99, but I used my coupon, um, which I don't have my phone near me, but, uh, the coupon is usually, like, 40% off the price, so I got it for, like, 8 bucks, I think, um, which is pretty good, because, I mean, I've done, like, 6 face-ups, and this is still how much I had, because with multiple layers, I've done 6 face-ups, with, and that's how much I still have, so, I mean, they have other bottles, and they have an off-brand that you can buy as well at Hobby Lobby. Um, it's just, if, if you don't want to get the spray, like, if you're like me and you don't want to use spray, or um, you don't have matte, uh, the, the MSC, just use the matte finish just to at least seal your pastels, and then use this to actually seal everything in, because that's what I do. Um... But yeah, as far as products and stuff like that, that's mainly what I use. But I do have a longer list of the plethora of things, um, which will be linked at the end. But she also asks, um, <coughs> just a sec, <coughs> sorry. Um, she also asks, how do I reroute my yarn with, with yarn? Um, basically I just kind of thread it in a needle, push it through the head out the neck hole and then put a knot in it and then pull it through. Um, I can do a more in-depth video if you guys really want to know. Um, I had thought about doing that before but no one ever really asked about it so I didn't bother to make one. But yeah, if you guys want like an actual video on how I reroute, just let me know. Um, oh yeah, uh, the uh, Doll Photography 10 on Instagram asked me um, how do I deal with hate and do I have any new ideas for videos? Um, which I always have ideas for videos. Uh, they come to me and they go most every other day. <laughs> but anyway, as far as hate concern is concerned, like all through high school, I really didn't deal with it. I actually dealt with it very badly. Uh, like I said, I've been bullied a lot in school. So a lot of the time I was just in a ball crying, but, uh, yeah, really you just gotta kind of push through it, I guess. Once you're out of high school, really, you never see those people again, that people that bully you anyway. But I guess the best way I can tell you is just do your best to ignore it. If there's someone that is actually being, like, for, like seriously bullying you, tell someone. 
they don't listen, tell somebody else. If they don't listen, tell someone else. Always kind of find someone to resolve that problem because I did. It was never resolved and it still happened. So, yeah, just... And after, after one or two people, I stopped t talking about it because for me, it just suddenly became normal. But, yeah, always try and tell someone if someone's bullying you, at least school-wise. Um, I've never actually gotten any hate online. Um, if I have, I don't remember. So that's how much of an effect it had on me if I did get any hate. But, um, I did recently make a video about hating on people with recasts. Uh, you can watch that video for my opinion. <laughs> but, just I don't get it. I don't get why people feel the need to voice their opinion in a very rude and horrible way. <sighs> if people, if, if I get a rude comment, basically I will delete it. Um, if there's someone that's persistently being rude or commenting bad things, um, block them. They don't need to be on your comment section or on your YouTube or on your Instagram, Facebook, whatever it may be. Block them, delete their stuff on, at least your their stuff on your pictures, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. So yeah, that that's really my only knowledge of ways to get through hate kind of stuff. And as far as new uh, video ideas, um, really I, I come up with a lot of things on the fly. There's a lot of tag videos I'm interested in doing. I'm just trying not to do like a tag video, like every other video is a tag video. So I'm trying to slowly like do tag videos. Um, but other than that, it's just custom videos. Like videos of my customs, as per usual. Like there's the custom, if you haven't watched my vlog, um, I'm working on that custom right now and hopefully I will have it done soon. <laughs> like really, really soon. Um, and, oh, okay, that's it. So, uh, okay, so that was, like, the only questions I got, um, which is perfectly fine. Uh, I just try to do these just if anyone actually wants to know anything. They can, but because I didn't think this was going to be a long, just so you guys know, I do long videos just because I like talking and, I mean, if I only answered, like, four questions kind of pointless. So I wanted to combine this Q&A with a tag. So yeah. And um, this tag is the um, autobiography tag or something like that. It's something te uh, Seven asked me to do. So I'm doing it. And a couple of these questions kind of commingle with the uh, a previous tag I did so I mean if you really want the answer to some of these questions just go look at some of my other tag videos so yeah um, basically like the other hobbies I do um, other collections that I've answered in another tag so you guys can check that out um, where do I live and what do I love or not like about it I live in Texas basically central Texas if you guys want I'm not gonna be any more specific than that right now <laughs> Um, I hate Texas because it's so bleepin' hot. I hate being hot. Like, I mean, I've said I've wanted to go to, like, somewhere up north where it snows all the time and stuff like that. And people have told me, no, why would you do that? Why? You would hate the snow. You would hate being cold all the time. And I'm like, uh, no, I like it when my room is, like, 50 degrees all the time. Sorry. That's how I feel. So, um, really that's the most thing I hate about Texas. Um, and love, to me, seems like a really strong word to say, like, Oh, I love this state! And I'm like, eh, it's just a place I live. I don't... It's not like I love... I guess I like living here? I don't know. I have family here. So I guess that's something to love about living here? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, there's... There's that one. The next one, the next question was, 
um, TV slash movies that I like, I assume. And I actually have a movie slash TV show collection. So if you guys ever want to see like an in-depth, like look at all my movies and stuff, just let me know. I can always make one. But um, for the most part, my favorite movies that I like are basically Disney movies, Marvel movies, and Tim Burton movies because I love Tim Burton. He is such an awesome director, writer, maker, artist, person. So yeah, he's, he's pretty awesome. I love his movies. And then as far as TV shows, I love a lot of TV shows. Um, by the way, I'm saying all of these things based on the actual DVDs that I have. Nothing that I'm, like, usually I, like, watch. Other than Steven Universe. They don't have Steven Universe on DVD. Or well, they do, but it's, like, random episodes, and I don't do that. So, yeah. But, basically, Monk, House, Boy Meets World, Charmed... Vampire Diaries, Once Upon a Time, Revenge, Roseanne, uh, la, 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 uh, pretty much all of that, Batman, oh, that's another movies thing, Batman, and I like the cartoon, Batman, um, and a bu like, there's a bunch more other than that, it's just, those are some of my favorites, and then, uh, let's see. The next question is anime. What is my favorite anime? And this question I have never gotten. I've never seen a tag that has talked about anime. So I am happy that this tag actually has anime in it. Because I actually collect a lot of anime. Or watch a lot of anime. I don't actually have a lot of anime on DVD. But you guys know what I mean. I have Yu Yu Hakushu. And even though these, pe even though a lot of people don't consider this an anime, I'm considering it an anime because they're they shipped it to Asia to get the cartoon written, like drawn out and stuff. So there's a lot of factors as to why I consider it an anime. So anyway, Avatar and The Legend of Korra, um, Cowboy Bebop, everything Dragon Ball Z, basically DB, DBZ, DBGT. I have it all, um, other than the newest Dragon Ball, which I don't get. Um, and Yasha, Obon Star Racers, Aero Proxy, and Naruto. I love Naruto. One of my favorite shows ever. So, and then there, like I said, there are other animes that I watch. These are just ones I have on anime or on DVD. And I'm like in a derpy mood, so that's why I'm having a hard time talking, just so you guys know. Uh, what was the next question? Was it books? I think it was books. Oh, it's video games. Then books. Um, I don't really play a lot of video games other than, like, I play Minecraft. I've said that in other videos. Um, I love Minecraft. I think it's really fun just because I like building. <laughs> I'm a very creative person, so any game that allows me to be creative in that way. Other than that, I, um... I really love the Arkham series. I have like the first two games out of that. Um, I never finished the second one just because I don't play Xbox like every day or hardly at all anymore. Um, although I wish I did. It's just I have other things going on that kind of prevent me from actually playing a Xbox all the time. Anyway, so basically Arkham and um, Lego. Any Lego game you can ever imagine. I pretty much, well... Other than maybe the ones that haven't came that have come out in like the last three years, other than those, I pretty much have every single Lego game. So, yeah, those are the video games I love and puzzle games. I love puzzle games um, and stuff like that. Yeah, and I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Books. I love books. Um, even though I'm not able to read all the time, especially because of my dyslexia, I get, like, super bored really fast. Um, because it's, sometimes it's hard for me to read. But basically, Harry Potter, um, even though some people hate it, Twilight, uh, the books are better than the movies, you guys. Don't hate me. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. 
of the the maximum ride series i love this is a really good series you guys should read it um and i'm trying to go through my books right here right behind me um and i have the comic versions of the maximum ride as well so if you guys aren't really into like the bookie book parts like this um the he actually has I think the entire series in comic book form. Um, I don't have them all. I have all the way up to seven. And then that's it. Um, another book series I would suggest you guys to read um, is the Vladimir Todd series. I loved this book when I was in high school because I just, oh, I just loved it. Um, and this is like, this is the last one. Yeah. And she made, like, an off-series off of this. It, it was called, um... It was based on... It was, like, the point of view of another character within here. But, like, just definitely... It's about vampires. Um, obviously. <laughs> Vladimir Todd. He's basically, um... Half vampire, half human. And it's just about him in high school, basically. Um, obviously there's more to that, but I don't want to ruin it for anyone else. But there's basically that. Um, if she stay is a good mo is a good book to read. I also like um, How to Train Your Dragon. It's a fun kid series. I love it. Let's see what else. Oh, manga. I do collect manga and comic books. Um, this is my all time favorite manga. I have every single manga of it or book of it. Um, it's plus anima. Um, it's basically these kids who have animal-like features, like you can see Husky right here. That's the character's name. Um, he, he has the ability to turn into a fish. Whenever he's wet, he turns into a mermaid, basically. Um, this guy right here, he has um, other powers and stuff like that. Um, my favorite character is basically here. It's Kuro. Um, he's really cute. I love him in the series. He reminds me a lot of Naruto without the anger, basically. If you guys understand that. I also love Shaman King Fruits Basket. I've also read all of the Inuyasha books. Um, there, like I said, there's a million things that I like. <laughs> um, would I travel? Yes, I would love to travel all over the world. I just have a lot of anxiety about being away from what I call home. So this is home right now, so if I'm away from here for too long, I get anxiety and I start getting crazy. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, favorite food is chicken. I love chicken and turkey. I'm a poultryist, so I don't eat beef or, well, I sometimes eat ham, but don't worry about that. <laughs> um... It's very rare when I eat ham. So, basically, chicken and turkey are one of my favorite foods to eat. Um, mm -hmm. Random fact, which I don't feel like talking about. Or I don't feel like saying anything. There's not other, anything else I can think of at the moment. Um, other than that, it's favorite color or pets. I do not own pets. Or any pets. Um, my favorite color is red. Also, like, red and black, blue. Red, black, and blue are pretty much my favorite colors. Um, so yeah. I think... Hey, you guys. Sorry, I actually forgot the music question. So, like, what kind of music I listen to? And I actually listen to a lot of different people. I don't really have a bias. Like, there's not a lot of music I don't like. Um, mainly it's just country music I can't stand. But even that, it's like, it's... it's, it's specific songs I just hate um or even I just don't like the sound of country music basically um but yeah for the most part I don't really have anything that I um that I don't listen to but I'll try and see if I can get uh just name off a bunch um Adele uh bring me the horizon um Coldplay, 
Demi Lovato, Eminem, Evanescence, The Fray, which I love The Fray. Imagine Dragons. I'm just going through my list here. Katy Perry, Kesha, Kelly Clarkson, Lady Gaga, my queen. Lindsay Sterling, by the way. I love Lindsay Sterling. Lord. Linkin Park. <laughs> Miley Cyrus. Uh, Pink, my other queen. <laughs> I'm just joking. Anyway, Rihanna. I love Rihanna. Um, some Selena, not a lot. I think I have maybe one or two songs. Uh, Sia, one of my favorite singers, up there with Lady Gaga. Uh, Troy Sivan, another awesome singer. Three Days Grace, one of my favorites, up there with Evanescence. Uh, Utara, I love her music. I... I think I have music stored away somewhere. Um, I think I only have like one song actually on my phone, but uh, I, I like her voice and I like her music. Uh, Zed and yeah, I think I'm just yeah, that's that's gonna be it. That's rough. That's like a roughly roughly what I like, I guess, and that's a good variety for you guys. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't believe I forgot a question. Um, if you guys have any other questions or if you want me to go in-depth about something, just comment below. Let me know. I could make a video of something else. Or actually just answer your comment down below. <laughs> but, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye!